Hey, what's going on, people? It's your man, man. Everything about y'all, man. I just wanted to tell y'all, man. Yo, I don't know if y'all watched that show, Ozark. Mm, that that show is ridiculous, man. That show is ridiculous. I want to see who, which one y'all um watch Ozark. I just finished seeing uh, season three, and it's it's ridiculous, man. Shout out to Jason Bateman. And all of the producers and, and writers and directors and everybody who created this show. This show is ridiculous. Seriously, man. It's something new I got into. Shout out to the people from The Last OG, too. That was another show with Tracy Morgan talking about Brooklyn and gentrification and everything. That was a beautiful show, man. But this show right here, Ozark. <sighs> man. I just finished season. I'm watching season three, and it's crazy. So I just want to kind of uh, recast season three for everybody that's already watching the show. Oh man, I mean, one thing I can say about this show, well, actually this season really, is my guy Ben, uh, Wendy's brother. I mean, this dude, I mean, just give him his Emmy right now. Just give him his award right now. He killed it. He killed it. Like, he killed it all the way through. It just took him one season to kill it. It took him one season. He came in season three, and he killed it. And he got killed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, this dude, he really embodied what it meant to be and live as a as a bipolar, um, someone, you know, living with bipolar, you know, someone that is bipolar, someone who's a manic depressant, you know, someone who's mentally ill. I mean, I never, I don't, I can't, I don't even remember the last time I seen somebody, like, portray that as good as he did. I mean, he literally took you from, you know, his everyday thinking and his mindset, like to literally, I mean, you, you saw his actions. I mean, he kept shooting himself in the foot time and time and time again. And it's almost like he did it. He, he knew what he was doing, but then he didn't know to the full extent what he was doing. Um, and it was so sad, so heartbreaking, man. And, you know, it made me really think about, you know, the mentally ill people out there with those conditions, man. It's just like, it's just so tough, you know. I, you know, the way Jason Bateman and the writers and everything put it together, it's just like it really makes you feel for families and people dealing with that. You know, people themselves that's diagnosed with that and also just people, family members like Wendy in the show that had to deal with that. That was her brother, you know. She was dealing with that since she was young, you know. So it really makes you think about people with depression and people, you know, their families or immediate friends, you know, that have to deal with that on an everyday basis. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, like I said, you know, if you don't watch the show, man, you got to watch that show. I just got to put on to that. And, you know, and I seen that. I've, I've been seeing that on Netflix. And I was like, you know what, let me see what this is about, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I see it all the time. Everybody's talking about it. And I'm like, yo, I got I to gotta, I gotta see what's going on. So this this show's, this show's really something. It's about so many different things on so many different levels. You know, it talks about, I mean, it shows you about family, about... You know the the levels of family, what that really means. You know protection, um, politics. There's just so many different things, so many different things, man. But shout out to uh, I think Tom Preferfree or something like that, um, the one who played Ben, man. I really want to shout him out real quick. Um, and shout out to everybody, Jason Bateman, um, the one who played Wendy. Everyone, everyone killed their role. Everyone killed their role, man. And I love how they put hip hop into uh they put old school hip hop old school rap into into the show because you know roof the one who played roof is is she love old school rap music man so i always love like every time she listen to music it's like biggie or rock cam i'm like wow that's what's up i like that in this type of show you know what i'm saying it was just beautiful man you know and shout out to man let me see what else happened i mean this is just a recap you know i don't want to really say too much man if you didn't watch the show man but it was crazy how what happened with Ben, and um, it was crazy what happened with um, <laughs> with Helen. Helen, she got her shit pop. You know what I'm saying? So it was crazy, man. It was crazy. So we don't know. Season four is gonna be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Now, Marty and um, Wendy is the new people now in charge, and Helen is out the way. You know, but unfortunately, Ben is out the way, and Noah is. Uh, I said no. I meant to say Jonah. Whatever his name is, <laughs> the son. You know what I'm saying now he's just crazy. He's like a young Ben in a way. Well, not mentally ill, but he's like kind of. He's not. He's not all the way there. And, you know, as you get through the show, you kind of say, okay, well, is it for no reason? You know, the way the family is, like what they've been through. This is crazy. Like you gotta watch that show. If you never watch that show, you gotta watch that show. 
you know what I'm saying? But crazy, crazy, man. I'm waiting on season four. You know, I, you know, all the production is halted though right now. There's no work right now, so we don't even know when season four is gonna come out, uh, or any season really, any new season for a lot of these shows. And you know, so we gotta wait on that. So because you know, we gotta realize what what, what time we really in with the whole COVID situation. Everything is halted. You know what I mean? There's no shooting or nothing like that. So, but shout out to Jason Bateman again, man, for putting this show together. This is whoo. This was something. This this was this is a show. This is what you call a show. <laughs> is it? You know, this is what you really call a show, man. So, shout out to the show. Shout out to Ozark, man. It was really something. I really enjoyed that show. You know, it shows you a lot. It shows you. It really shows you a lot about life. Like I said, in different elements of life, different elements of of culture. You know, even where they're located in the actual Ozarks in Missouri, it's a whole different way of life they show you. You know. It kind of reminds me of Florida a little bit, you know, with the boats and the water and things like that. But it's rural country. It's just a whole different way of life, man, you know. Um, even, you know, like I said, with people's mindsets, you know, how they think. You know, like me being from the city and even Marty, you know, being from Chicago, being from a, city, a big city. Um, you know, we kind of, we think a lot different. We think about, you know, how we're going to survive, you know, the, how we're going to solve the situation in front of us. You know, everything is moving so fast. So we... we we adapt to, to that type of um, lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? But somewhere there in the Midwest, it's like so country and everything is slowed down and everything is really about like reputation, you know, your last name, you know, your family, <laughs> your family name and, and things like that. You know, that's what it's about um, in those parts, you know what I'm saying? And it's real, it's real life, you know? So it's a, it's a lot you can learn about that show, I mean, you know, from the show, you know, it's, it's really a deep show. Man, it's really a deep show. So, man, shout out to Jason Bateman, man. He, I mean, the, you know, his whole team, the way they put everything together is amazing, man. It's amazing. So I can't even be surprised at all if they got awards. I think they got some awards already in the first season, I think, I believe. So shout out to them. And, uh, man, I just wanted to give a recap. I really want to know what y'all think, though. You know, if you watch the show, Ozark, man, tell me what you think about season three. And tell me what you think about the ending. And tell me how you think uh, season four is going to play out, man. So, yeah, it's your boy, Everything About John, man. Shout out to everybody that worked and put together Ozark. And I want to hear your thoughts. And uh, continue to stay safe out there, man. All right? Peace.